I'm Lainey Penner, I'm a consultant obstetrician from King's College Hospital London. Um, I'm on what's technically termed a NHS career break at the moment and I've spent three months working as a volunteer for Maternity Worldwide doing obstetrics at Gimby Hospital. In my opinion the quality of the care that people receive in Gimby is in terms of people being available for them exactly the same as they would expect in in any hospital in a Western country. Sadly we don't have the backup facilities like intensive care and perhaps the drugs and some of the treatments that they have in those hospitals but there are certainly people here who the minute a woman arrives they will be seen by a skilled birth attendant who will make sure that the appropriate emergency treatment is instituted. The facilities wise we have a, a female ward which is 28 beds it's actually shared with surgical and medical patients as well. Um, in addition to that we have two delivery beds that are very efficiently used and we have two additional beds that we can use either for deliveries or for women who are about to deliver. We have a 24-hour um, emergency theatre service. We can do a caesarean section at any time, 24 hours a day. We have very fortunate to have a, a very nice little ultrasound machine. It's not state-of-the-art, it's not something for doing high-level and normally scanning on and it's very highly used. That was provided by Maternity Worldwide to the hospital. Tell her what I think she should do. She should stay with somebody tonight and she should come back so that I can make sure the baby's head is still here tomorrow. The best memory is I, one who I was writing my wife saying I think we're gonna have another patient who's gonna die and and watching her somehow turn the corner and uh, survive. Uh, and uh, again, I, it's some, you know, I don't. It's some of the medicines we brought with us that don't, that don't have available here, that helped. I, I'm, I know it made a difference. The scariest thing about working here is the lack of blood transfusion and that's a, a very difficult thing. There is no blood bank facility in the hospital here and so if a woman needs to have a blood transfusion what we have to do is we have to ask the relatives if they will line up, have their blood groups checked and if we find a match they give their blood and we then give it to the woman. Of course that's quite a time-consuming uh, process and if a woman's hemorrhaging it can be extremely touch and go whether we get the blood in time. The first the first month I was here, a lady came far from uh, this area, even uh, she's out of West Wellaga. She came in with ruptured uterus, and uh, she, I remember the, uh, the Danish obstetrician who was here at that time. Uh, we, did, we did it together and uh, and I heard she cried after the surgery because everything was, was a mess. The ruptured uterus has happened uh, days back and everything is, is, is too gross. Uh, you can't differentiate the ruptured uterus from the bowels. So we tried to take our time and did what, uh, what we were supposed to do. And uh, after uh, two weeks, uh, the patient walked home, uh, you know, she survived. And uh, we remember at that time, uh, you know, the midwife, the Danish midwife, giving her a flower and, uh, you know, smiling and, uh, and going home. Yeah, I, I, I won't forget that lady, you know. There are other, other, other cases too, but this, this is, this is uh, even though she has lost her child and her uterus, she, she walked home and alive and survived all that complication. Yeah. <laughs>
every day the patients here are so appreciative, so enjoyable. They, you know, especially if you try to mention a word or two of their language, uh, it usually brings a smile uh, as you butcher a foreign tongue. And, uh, and it's just uh, very nice to see them happy uh, and uh, getting uh, good care at the same time. The, the things ideally um, that maternity worldwide need to keep doing are to be able to um, keep the safe birth fund going because one of the joys of Gimby is that you need never ask the question when you're thinking about doing a caesarean, can you afford to pay for this? You can always do the operation and the safe birth fund will help if they haven't got the money. I think you've seen a lot of things and heard a lot of things that tell you just how important the work the maternity worldwide is doing. And so please just look on the website to learn a little bit more about what we're doing, but particularly give to the charity.